We started the brewery two and a half years ago, partly as a business venture. It became an ambition of mine to set up a brewery and I was talking to my friend Willie Calvert about this and as a result of that we decided to do it jointly and Jim and Bob joined in with that uh, goal. I hadn't contemplated starting a brewery. I was doing consulting work and wanted something that was more personal to me. I wanted to start a brewery because it was a chance to build a brand from scratch and I have a love of history and brewing has got a fabulously rich history both here in Windsor and throughout the whole country and I just thought it was a story that was really worth telling. We have a pretty simple product philosophy. We do a few beers which we wish to be distinctively different but all fit into a house style and that house style I define as clean tasting but hobby. We've got Windsor Knot, the beer we originally brewed for the Royal Wedding. That's stayed as a regular beer by popular demand. Conqueror Black IPA, our notorious 5%, really strong dark beer, but was, is very hoppy. Night of the Garter, I love when the sun's out, not happening this year. <laughs> I love traditional English bitter with a good English hop flavour to it. And we do a beer guardsman, which is very much in that style. It's designed to be where everyone's memory of how good Best Bitter used to be. We deliver on a horse and dray. We do it not because it's the most efficient way of delivering beer to pubs, because it's not fast enough and we can't get enough cars on the way. We've always wanted to say we're part of this community. We're a community brewer. Having a horse and dray around the town, a big tourist town, the tourists love it. They think, fantastic, you know, a real English town, delivering by horse and dray, it's fantastic. Typically we, we do it to those pubs that are within close reach, which means the town centre pubs, especially those around the castle. Um, and we also we find that locals are very tolerant of the fact that they may be held behind this rather slow moving dray on the road because they see it as adding value to town life. So where do we want to go from here? Well, I think um, we've still got a huge long way to go. We've only just started, and our ambition is to become the very best craft brewery in the country. Now, as you know, we've got lots of great competition for that, but everything we do is quality. We want to be seen as the top craft brewery or in that elite group of craft breweries supplying to the best places. Well, I think for me, the future is one about getting more and more people to be excited and interested about what we do. And the more that they can sort of feel our passion and feel welcome and feel part of it, the, the more exciting the future is. When people ask about winter, they don't say, ah, that's where the Queens live. They say, ah, that's where the beer comes from. <laughs>